Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to write down a metric representation A of T with respect to standard basis in domain and codomain of a linear transformation where T is from three dimensions by R3 to R3 and T of X, Y, Z equal to Y plus Z, X plus Z and X minus Y. We may assume that this T is a linear transformation. Now, how to find the metric representation Presentation of this linear transformation. Let's look at the reference from David Lay linear algebra and its application. So this is the statement from David Lay. If F is a linear transformation and is there is a metric A, how to find the metric A now? A is a metric whose column is the vector T E J, whereas E J is a J column of the identity metric or R N. So A is given by the call image of TE1, TE2, and so on until TEN. So this is how we're going to approach the problem. So the transformation is T times XYZ equal to Y plus Z, X plus Z, X minus Z. So let's look at TE1. Now E1 is the first column of the identity matrix is 1, 0, 0. So that means X equal to 1 y equals 0, z equals 0, then you get 0 plus 0, 1 plus 0, 1 minus 0, and so this is equal to 0, 1, 1. TE2 is equal to the image of T, image under T of 0, 1, 0, where the second column of the identity matrix is 0, 1, 0, that means that y is 1, 0 is x, z is 0, so they get 1 plus 0, 0 plus 0, 0 minus 0, and this will give me 1, 0, 0. Now, TE3 is the image of 0, 0, 1 under T. The image of 0, 0, 1 under T means x is 0 now, y is 0 now, z is 1 now, I have. 0 plus 1, 0 plus 1, 0 minus 1, and this will give me 1, 1, minus 1. Therefore, the metric representing T is A now, so the metric representing T, in this case, let's call it A, and this A is metric given by TE1, TE2, TE3 in each in the column. And this will give me the first column is 0, 1, 1. The second column is 1, 0, 0. And third column is 1, 1, minus 1. That finished the recording.